When Dasha moved from the village to live in the city, everything was fine. Her mother was working, while her brother Daniel was studying at the university. As for her, she stayed at home doing housework. She was mute, and she'd never uttered a word since she was young. Mother Daria Arvanova used to go to work in a factory and take care of all the household expenses. But one day a car hit her on the highway when she was returning home from work. This caused her to be permanently disabled, and she was in a wheelchair. She was so shocked that she could not one day be seated in a chair and unable to work. Dasha was forced to work, even though she did not speak, but she was a very smart and beautiful young woman, and perhaps someone's heart would be ripe and allow her to work. The young woman rarely left the house, and when she found herself among the people on the street, with cars surrounding her on all sides, she felt nervous and returned home frightened. Daniel was focused on his studies as he wanted to be a successful young man. The young man wanted to replace his father, who'd left the house some time ago and had completely disappeared. He wanted to evade the responsibility of raising a dumb girl. Where he offered Daria Ivanova to take her to the center for the deaf-mute and let her live there. In addition, when his wife refused and told him that she would raise her daughter and would not abandon her, he decided to leave her where he told her before leaving that he wanted to live a quiet life with ordinary people and he was not ready for the burdens of a child who did not speak because it would tire him a lot. When the father left and the family left without money, Daria traveled to Medina to search for work and left her children with her sister. When she found a job, she returned to the village, brought her children with her, and rented an apartment near the place where she works but her life turned into hell after she was exposed to the accident. When the mother noticed that her daughter would not be able to find a job because she wasn't speaking, she began to think of a way to earn money. She sews t-shirts at home and gave them to her daughter to sell at the train station. Although that did not bring her much money, it was enough to buy bread and vegetables. Dasha noticed that the money she earned from selling the clothes that her mother wove was not enough. She wrote in papers that she was looking for a job and started distributing it to stores and restaurants on her way home when she finished selling those clothes. Dasha used to pass daily in front of a luxurious restaurant with glass walls in the city on her way back and forth from the train station. The young woman was aware that she would not have a job opportunity in that restaurant because everyone dreams of working in it, and since she doesn't speak, it's not possible to be accepted. One day when the young woman was headed home, she noticed a white paper hanging on the wall of the luxurious restaurant, and then she approached and read what was written. The restaurant is looking for a dishwasher, and this is her chance to try her luck, as she spent most of her life in the kitchen and knows how to wash the dishes well. So she was sure that she would convince the business owner if he gave her that opportunity. The young woman approached the door of the restaurant, and there a young man who appeared to be the restaurant's supervisor received her. The young woman took a piece of paper from her pocket and gave it. Then the latter realized that she was mute and asked her to leave the restaurant immediately because they could not hire a mute girl. However, Dasha did not give up and kept standing near the door. And then she tried to enter to meet the owner of the restaurant. However, the young man pushed her by the shoulder and asked her to go back. Meanwhile, the owner of the restaurant appeared and noticed the young woman tried to enter and the employee preventing her from that. Then he approached her to know what was happening. Oleg Mikhailovich noticed that the young woman was pointing her finger to the advertisement and then at herself. Then he understood that she was dumb and she wanted to get a job. When he advised her to join him in his office, which surprised the restaurant supervisor, he'd never hired a female worker who did not speak. Dasha explained her family situation to the owner of the restaurant and begged him to allow her to work because she desperately needs it. The man was affected and kissed her at work. He introduced her to the staff inside the restaurant and told her that she could start working from that moment. The man wanted to test her, and if she showed her ability to work, he would not hesitate to employ her permanently in his restaurant, as he realizes that his restaurant receives many customers and he needs an energetic worker to wash the dishes. Dasha wrote in the paper that she had that she could not stop working that day because she had to go home to tell her mother so she would not worry about her. Then the owner of the restaurant gave her permission to leave and told her that she would come the next day, and at the appointed time, the young woman agreed and left, happy. Yet Mikhailovich asked the workers not to disturb the young lady and let her work freely, 
He realized that she does not speak and has never worked before, so they must help her. The young woman told her mother that she got a job in a restaurant and that she'll start working the next day. And this is what made Daria very happy. Finally, she'll be freed from the financial hardship she was in, which made her and her daughter hardly able to eat. When Dasha came in the morning, she found the supervisor of the restaurant waiting for her, took her into the kitchen, gave her gloves, put cleaning supplies in front of her, told her what she had to do, and then left. There was a large amount of utensils waiting for the woman, and the previous day, she was not surprised when she saw them, as she immediately began washing them and finished them in record time, which amazed everyone. When the restaurant supervisor came back and saw what the young woman had done, he immediately admired her vitality and activity and told her that she was doing a great job and that she had to continue. The young woman never raised her head from starting work. She does not speak to anyone and focuses only on her work, as she's keen to make the pots shiny and arrange them in place. The supervisor of the restaurant came every moment to check on the young woman while she was working. He used to give her unnecessary notes and laugh at her sometimes and say sarcastic words that makes the workers of the restaurant laugh. The young woman understood well what was going on around her, but she tried to stay calm because she says that the job is very important to her and that she could not lose it. Dasha was aware that her salary was still far away, so she used to go out during the rest period granted to her and go to the nearby station to sell the clothes that her mother weaves and then return quickly to continue working until late at night and return home very exhausted. The young woman worked hard until she received her first salary and took it immediately and delivered it to her mother, who hugged her for a long time and cried. She realizes that her daughter suffers from bullying where she works because she does not speak, but she knows that she's strong, durable, and can be patient. One day a well-dressed man parked his luxurious car at the door of the restaurant and entered. Then the supervisor of the restaurant met him and asked him to sit down. But the man told him that he was looking for the employee, Dasha, who washes the dishes in the restaurant. Then Yig Mikulovich approached him and asked him what he wanted. When he knew that he wanted to meet Dasha, he asked him to wait and then went and returned to the company of the young woman. The man immediately went to the young woman and hugged her. Then he called her his sister, and in turn she hugged Dasha, shedding tears. The man said that he missed her so much and asked her to come with him because she would not work again in that restaurant. Daniel and his sister returned home, and there he met his mother and told her a success story at work. Then he asked Dasha to stay with his mother at home and take care of her. He would pay her double what she was getting at work. Daniel and his wife moved to live in that city and took care of his mother and sister, and with the passage of time he was known as Yig Mikulovich, and they entered into a partnership. Then he asked him to fire the supervisor of the restaurant who was insulting his sister, and by doing so, in remoteness to his sister, that he would take revenge on that man.